Hello, hello. As you guys can see, that's my birthday balloon that we just saw. How is everyone doing today? Let's see who is here. So guys, make sure you you invite your friends and followers to the scope. It's gonna be a really cool scope. We're gonna be talking about sabotage. Um, you know, this is something that I have noticed. A lot of people tell me, like, what's when I ask what's stopping you, they say me. You know, I'm sabotaging myself. And I'm gonna talk about what I have seen. You know, in my journey in as a business coach and and life coach, what's the biggest sabotage touch? That we can have in business and how to see this and how to overcome it and I'm gonna be sharing with you some specific steps to do to overcome this okay so before I share with you these awesome steps I want to see who is here so if you're here I want to say hello Shantan Kiana how nice to have you here Jenny hey Jenny Isabella so say hello and make sure you share this uh, scope with why are you I'm, I have no idea who you are so make sure you share this scope with your friends and followers to share this message. You know? Kiana, hello, hello, hello. Okay, so um, who else wants to say hello? So let's talk about sabotage. If you're creating your own business, if you're just starting, wherever you are, doesn't matter, wherever, wherever you are in the process, this is what's the big sabotage. And you gotta pay attention to this. The biggest sabotage in business, oh yeah. Look at how I did that. Um, it's gonna be funny now, but is ourselves. We are the biggest sabotagers. Why? Because we are the ones who stop. We are the ones who who create drama, excuses, and all of these things. He stops. We are the ones that do it. So we are the biggest sabotage. Like our ourselves. Like ourselves. Uh, we are the sabotage. You know, I see how I myself. Am I can I sabotage my success, my business, like in the, especially in the beginning when I wasn't really aware of it. Like I didn't have that much control, you could say. I noticed I was sabotaging myself all the time, and I was the person sabotaging. I was, you could say, the culprit. What do you do for a living? So for those of you who are new to me and just joining, thank you guys so much for sharing the scope. I really appreciate it. My name is Sharina Mayani. I'm a life and business coach and I support women in creating their dream business and really helping them get into money flow, which is super exciting. So today's scope, we're talking about what's the biggest sabotage in business and the biggest sabotage is ourselves. We are the ones who stop. You know, we are the ones who know we gotta do something, yet we don't do it. Um, my credentials, so I, I'm a master coach. I have two certifications as coach, and my life experience is really my credentials. Um, so yes, so as I was sharing, how to overcome this. And, and guys, let me know, is this resonating with you guys? Like, do you feel like how you can sabotage yourself and how, you know, sometimes we are the biggest sabotage. You know, I was speaking to some of the ladies, some awesome women in the past few days and weeks, and I've noticed with them that when I asked them, like, what do you feel stopping you? Like, many of these ladies said me. I know that I'm stopping myself. And it's true. Like, the only reason why we aren't uh, achieving what we, what we want to achieve is because we're not doing what we need to do, maybe. Or we're not taking action towards it. So I don't know who you are exactly or what support you need, but I support women specifically to build businesses, service-based businesses usually. So, I mean, you can listen and stay and see if you like it. If not, you are welcome to leave if this doesn't resonate with you. So, what have you achieved? So, you can actually find more information about me in my website, sharinamani.com. If you want to learn more about me, um, you can do that. That would be the best thing. George, okay. So, Katana, hey, Katana, you got me. Did you fix the... What was it that happened with you? You said something on the notification. Did you fix it? So to summarize, guys, the biggest sabotage in business is ourselves, like us, our energy in us. So how do we overcome this? And share with you guys, do you feel that you've been sabotaging your, your business? Do you feel that you have been stopping uh, when you know you need to continue or you make excuses in your mind or you rationalize why you shouldn't be doing something that you know will help and support you? And if that's been something that you've been going through, this is really going to help you with these tips that I'm going to be giving you today. 
and share with me if you have experiences. I would love to know because I think it's important to even acknowledge, you know, that we are the biggest sabotage in the business. Like we know what we got to do, but we just don't do it kind of thing. Right. So I think it's important to take responsibility of that. And that's the number one way, number one thing to do to overcome that. Take full responsibility, like 120% responsibility that you might be sabotaging your success. Because guess what? And, and I know this is like the hardest thing to do. This is the most challenging thing to do for most people. And, when, and for me, it was super challenging. I remember watching The Secret, the movie, and I don't remember who it was talking about how, yes, full 120% responsibility. He talks about like a, like a car ca crash example and he, and he told the guy like, you are the one who created the car crash and people, and the guy was like, no, no, no. And I remember feeling like these things have been happening to me that were not, that are not good, but they're not my responsibility. You know, like it's not me, but it, life changes when you take hundred percent responsibility. You know, the women who are part of money flow mastery, my group coaching program, like these women uh, are taking so much responsibility for their success, for their money, for their business. Like I am seeing how they're shifting it. Cause when you take responsibility, it's energy guys. When you take responsibility, your energy shifts. You, 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 you come into a different frequency. You know what I mean? And when you're in that frequency of taking responsibility and taking hundred percent control of your life, like in that energy, in that space, you can solve your problems, you attract support, you attract more money, more flow, all of it happens in that space because in that space you also know that you can create your reality and that you can create anything you want. And if you want money, if you want clients, you want a business, um, you want free time, right? Whatever it is that you want, you can totally, totally create that in that space. But creating that in the space of victim, nobody understands me, who are you? or this happens to me, poor me, poor me, poor me. Like in that energy, like with my clients as well, like I need to get them out of that energy before we can get them to the next place or give them some action step because in that space, nothing happens. It's the energy of that space that I have noticed that is really challenging to work with, right? And you haven't done anything other than coaching. So I have actually, I, I had two businesses, George, before the coaching, I was fashion designer and I had my network marketing business. So this is my third business actually. Um, so yes, so how to overcome that? It's super important. You gotta take responsibility for your sabotage. You got if you are if you know and you're recognizing, you know, watching this or listening to the replay of the scope that you have been sabotaging yourself, take responsibility. That's the first thing. The second thing is that when you enter that energy of responsibility and, and taking responsibility for everything in your life, also the sabotage and why things are not maybe not going well in your business, in that space, guys, in that space, you're able to change it. So in that space, after taking responsibility, start taking action uh, towards it. You know, start taking action towards it. George, I, I don't know if this is the right um, space for you to be in. Network marketing is an amazing business. I was part of it. I know many women who are people who are as well. And I personally know people who are making a lot of money in it. So I'm going to actually, oh, I can't do this. Um, okay. So yes, so it's start taking action, right? So it's start taking action. Thank you, Isabella. Uh, it's start taking action. So when you notice you're sabotaging, you're in the space of responsibility, start taking action. So you know, for example, that you're not making money and then it's maybe because of you, maybe it's your energy, maybe you are repelling people. Maybe you, don't, you haven't uh, decided to invest in something that will help you or you yourself are making excuses in your head or rationalizing and getting, being, getting into fear. All these things that are normal, guys. And that's the other thing. We gotta normalize these things. We gotta normal, normalize the sabotage. Don't freak out when you feel this way, way or you're scared or all of it. Like, it's normal. Like, I'm telling the ladies in my Money Flow Mastery program, my group program, like, if you guys are freaked out, scared, in stress, in overwhelm, that's awesome. That's great news because transformation is happening. You know, change can only happen in that chaos, right? So it's okay, you know, if you're feeling that's why. So take action. So now that you know, let's say, let's say as an example, right, you want to make money in your business, right? And you want to make your first $5,000 in your business. And you know that it's you stopping you because you have not invested, you're not following what your coach says, you're not doing what you know will take you to that result. You're not taking action 
all these things. Let's say you're doing all of these things and you're not, you know, you're not putting your part, right? You're not working on your blocks, your mindset, you're not attending the webinars, you're not getting on the call, you're not booking a session, like all these things that will help you get the result. Take responsibility for that. Then start taking action towards it. Then start saying, okay, if I want this result, and I know I have been sabotaging myself, what can I start doing to move forward? Ask yourself this question, guys. What can I start doing? You know, I know I promised to contact 30 women and I didn't, as an example, right? Fine, you sabotage, it's fine. You didn't do what you said you wouldn't do, fine. Take responsibility, move forward. That's the other thing. I think we, we stay stuck in, the, in, in that not taking responsibility. We stay stuck like, oh, but I didn't do it. It's fine, move forward. And in that moving forward is where the miracle happens, in that moving forward. So ask yourself, what can you start doing? What action can you start taking to move yourself forward if you've been sabotaging yourself? So maybe for you, if, if, if this is like the example, following the example I've been giving now, I'll, it's like, you know, let me start, let me book a session with someone who can help me. Or let me, let me put myself or purchase something that will help me. Or, you know what, let me start reading a book around business and making money like it, so it can help me. Or let me start looking, doing those tapping videos to clear my money blocks on YouTube or that like Sharina shares or the scopes I do. Whatever it is, or being in these scopes, like maybe listening to the scope again and again, like start taking action. And sometimes when you start taking action against the sabotage, you, like even though you won't sabotage, it's gonna be very tricky, it's gonna be very challenging. You kind of gotta, gotta like push it through. Because once you push it through, that's this is where the beauty happens of this sabotage piece. Like once you push through and you and you make it happen, when you're in there, the magic happens. Because when you're in there, you are, you know, you're taking responsibility, you're taking action, you're feeling better, you're feeling good, you're getting results, and in that energy of getting results, you are in that space of harmony, you attract more of that. You know what I mean? So in that beginning, taking yourself out of that sabotage is a challenge. But with these steps that I've given you today, you will be able to get out. And the idea is to get yourself there. Having a coach, having a mentor, having a mastermind is super duper powerful. Like there's one girl who I was speaking to today. She's part of my Money Flow Master program and she was telling me, she's also a private client and she was saying like, and I know she's telling her like just being in the group and just sharing, hey guys, I'm feeling stuck here with all the girls telling her, hey, you can do it, you can do it. It's like, okay, I'm going to do it, you know? So being in that space, having people around you who support you, who care for you and who are really want you to succeed and are pushing you forward is the game changer, guys, is the game changer. And, and again, these are the steps for you to overcome this and, and pay attention, right? If you're not getting the results you say you want, most probably it's you. Most probably you're stopping yourself. And maybe sometimes, and, and, this, and also sometimes, guys, not, it cannot only be yourself, but also sometimes you are right where you need to be and you need to go what you're, what you're going through in order to get where you want to get to. What do I mean by this? Sometimes we need to experience something in order to get what we want. Angie, hey, I'm so glad you're here. I actually emailed you yesterday, I was thinking of you. So the way you know if you're sabotaging yourself or, and you're blocking yourself or you are actually where you're meant to go and you're meant to go through this challenge that's part of bringing the universe, bringing to you what you want is to ask yourself how you feel. So for example, um, there's actually someone who's been sharing with me that she is feeling not in alignment, not good with her journey, and, and really all her life is reflecting that. Her partnership, her job, all of these areas in her life are reflecting that to her, how she is not, she's not feeling good and not in alignment. And it's showing up in her behavior. So how do you know if it's you sabotaging yourself, it's you, or is what you need to go through? Right? Because so many times it might not be you sabotaging, right? It just might be a challenge you need to go through and something that you need to go through to get to where you need to go. So the way you find that out is to ask yourself, how do you feel in the moment? You feel like crap, you feel horrible. It's you, you're blocking yourself because when we're blocking ourselves and we're sabotaging ourselves, we don't feel good. But if you're feeling good in, in the midst of chaos, then you are on your way. And, and let me share with you a story about that. And, and guys, give me some feedback. Are you guys enjoying what I'm sharing? Are you guys... Uh, is this helping you guys? Is this is this resonating with you guys? Is this helping you? Tell me if it is just say yes I want to I want to know so I make sure Crap or horrible. It's you exactly so if you're, if you're going through crap Basically, you're feeling horrible. You're the sabotage if you're going through crap and you're feeling amazingly good It's just not affecting you. You're exactly where you need to be in order to get what you need to get what you desire Okay so beautiful, Katana, I'm glad. So a friend of mine, uh, uh, this guy who is my best friend, I love him, he's the best ever. I was speaking to him today and before today we have been talking. Awesome, thank you guys, thanks for giving me the feedback. 
And if you have any questions about this, share with me. And I actually helped him in the last few months in regards to help him because he's a very mess. Obviously, he's a man, he's super mess. And I don't coach men, but because he's a really close friend of mine, he as actually one of my first mentors. Um, he asked for support in, in the part of being more feminine, more connected to like his emotions, intention settings, all these things. And I, I we said we were going to help him in clearing, helping him clear these blocks and things that he, were, he was going through. And we did. And it's amazing. And he was sharing with me, like I had some time without connecting properly with him. And he was sharing with me today, today morning, we had a really cool call. And he was sharing with me his story. He was sharing with me what he literally manifested, which is crazy, guys. I'm going to share with you. He basically set the intention. Okay, I'm shiny here. Okay. He basically had set the intention that he wanted to make a lot of money and he wanted to do something really, really good and really big and he wanted to be successful. That was his intention. He was super clear. He knew he wanted that, but obviously what he was going through now, he had no idea how that was going to happen. And then he went to this training. He was invited or something like that to do this training in Mexico. He lives in Mexico. He did this training in Mexico. And in this training, he was learning about, you know, how to change your chip, how to change your mindset, all these things, because he was like, okay, I need to change, I need to shift, like, I feel comfortable going here, I'm gonna follow this, and I'm gonna do it. And in that event, um, he had no idea why he was called to go, but he went. And in that event, guys, um, people, like, like they, they had the event, was going on, and someone came from outside saying, like, hey guys, there's been an accident outside of some cars, um, go check if your car is okay. Cause, and he had taken his car that day to the bank. He drove there. And he actually drove in a convertible in a really cool car he had. And um, it looks like a bus, like right outside the event, like skid or something and banged some cars. And it was like four or three cars, like banged on, like, like right, you know, beside each other or like in front of each other, or whatever, back each other. And his car literally was a squashed car between these cars. And he saw that and he just smiled. And he's like, wow, this happened. I'm not feeling bad. I am feeling, oh well. And he started laughing. He's like, oh well, ha ha ha. He couldn't finish the, the attending the, the training because he had to you know, deal with the police, the, the insurance stuff because of his car. It was, it was done. And people, people in the vet were like, seriously, are you laughing? You're smiling? Your, your, your convertible got trashed. What do you mean are you smiling? And he's like, you know what? I'm happy and grateful. I'm so happy and grateful that Yes, my car got smashed, my converter got smashed, my favorite car, but at least nothing happened to nobody. There's no blood in the street, you know, everyone's safe. It was just the cars that got banged. Mine was the worst, but it doesn't matter. It's all good. And it looks like the guy giving the training was really called to how my friend was, his attitude. And my, my, the guy was like, wow, everyone was looking at him, how, like, how he was responding to the situation, because everyone knew what was happening, right? The next day, because the seminar was today, the next day after, uh, the expert, the mentor, the coach of the, the training grabbed my friend and said like, Hey, I'm really impressed the way you responded to the situation. Like, you know, some, if this would have happened to someone else, they would have freaked out, cried, big time. Oh my God, my car, the money, blah, blah, blah. But you're like laughing and you're being in the, in the training. You're like catching up and you're like just excited. And he's like, yeah, you know, something good's going to happen from this. And my friend has done a lot of training. Like we actually trained together with, um, like before. He was he was my mentor. He taught me how to be strong in the sense, and all this energy training and, and and stuff that he's taught me. So, so long story short, the the trainer, the the mentor, the coach told my friend that he went to meet with him and have a business meeting. Basically, long story short, the meeting turned into a partnership and now today they are partners in business. My friend is in an amazing, amazing opportunity making that is going to make, it's a multi-million dollar literally deal and he now has his own office, like it's dreamy and it's just been a month and I asked him, wow, and I was like, your car? He's like, yeah, it's fixed now. There's this light thing that it has to be fixed, but, and, and, and he said, Sharina, I asked for this, I asked for this opportunity, I asked for a business opportunity, I asked to be successful, to have this, and now I am a business partner of one of the leading experts and mentors and you know personal development gurus in Mexico. And I was like, and the reason he actually attended that training because he wanted to get close to the guy and, and look what happened. So again, the moral of the story here, which I am, he just, he blows my mind. It's like. When things happen to you, because they're gonna happen, guys. And I and, and look, the car had to happen so we could respond that way. So the guy could pay attention to and then be business partner because now he's signing multi-million dollars. You know what I mean? Like in the moment he would have cried, freaked out, all of that, feeling oh well happy. Exactly. So 
for those of you who are going through stuff, how are you feeling? If you're not feeling good, you're not feeling, you're feeling bad, that's, that's just an indicator there's something blocking you, there's blocks. That's why, that's why you see me doing lots of clearing work in the Money Flow Mastery Program. We're doing so much clearing, we're doing so much work on that because usually that's the hinder. But if something's going up with you and you're feeling good, you're in flow, hey, celebrate. You know, today I have um, a friend of mine, she had set the, inten she set the intention that she wanted to sign up a, a, a new client in her business. She had two discovery calls today. One was a no-show. The second was not a good fit. And she was like, oh, how am I gonna, I'm like, hey, get excited. I shared with her the story of this morning. And she's like, it's true. Like, maybe this happened, but I know my client's gonna come in. Like, in a way, good that client didn't sign up because she wasn't a fit, you know what I mean? Good the client didn't show up because that client wasn't a fit either, or maybe it's not the timing or whatever. But so many times in the moment when these things happen to us, we don't know why. We don't know why it's happening. You know what I mean? And I'll share with you my story, one story that happened to me, which is a super cool story. And guys, tell me if you guys are liking this so I can share more. One story of how I manifested my car, which I love my car. It's, it's like three years being now, three years. We don't know why, but it's good, exactly. So always indicating your feelings. Again, you gotta, you gotta look within how you're feeling. It's all about how you feel. And you're feeling good, awesome, if you're not, work on yourself that's where the tapping comes in that's where the clearing comes that's where i recommend that, that comes in because when you're feeling good you put your intention like why is not gonna happen then when the opportunity comes because mike when my friend this opportunity came to him guess what he was prepared he took action he didn't wait till the guy he okay i'm gonna be your business partner let's do it. this is the idea action 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 and like it's been a month and like the business has started they have a first plan. it's crazy what's been happening happening with that so it's just amazing right so the way I manifest my, my car my the car I have now I literally there was this a friend's birthday it was it was a weekend and one of my very close friends it was her birthday and she was gonna celebrate on the beach something in my gut said not to go and like part of me was like no if I don't go I'm gonna be a loser you know those stories that go in her mind like I'm gonna be left out all my friends are going la 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 but in my gut something was like no 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 do not go do not go do not go and I didn't know how to explain that or how to tell that to my friend that my gut was saying no, but well, I didn't, I didn't go. And my friends got mad at me, many of them were angry at me because I had said yes and then no, but I just wasn't feeling in alignment and I said yes because of peer pressure really. And that's so important to really honor your yes and your no, but that's a whole different topic, which I've really, really been able to understand more. And in this process, I was, I was like, all what hap was happening, like I was not going to the trip, like something happened I, in, my, in, my, in, my, in the fashion design stuff, like something, things were happening and I was like, everything seemed really bad. But I was feeling really good, I'm like, I don't know why I'm not meant to go and be here, I have no idea what's my plan and I wanted to do something, but I'm like, I'm feeling good, something really good is gonna happen and it's, I'm feeling good. Everyone else was like, like all these things that are happening to you, Shannon doesn't seem, make sense, all of it, but I was like, I, I don't know, I feel good. And then the next day, it was a Saturday morning, my, my dad says, tells me, Sheena, hey, um, you know, come with me. I want to take you somewhere. I'm like, okay, you have nothing to do. I'm, I'm, I was open. Let's go. And we go to Honda, the car dealership. And he, his car had got spoiled, so he decided to sell it. Um, and like he decided to sell his car, so he had decided to buy a new car. So I was like, oh, cool. Let's, you know, he wanted to go see a car. He wanted me to go with him to go see it with him and stuff because he would sell that car and get a new car and stuff like that. So I was like, okay, let's go. And then when we went, he asked me if you were to buy, a, if you were to choose a car here, which one would you choose? And I'm like, I, the car I'm really liking right now is the new CRV. I really love it. It's just gorgeous. He's like, okay, perfect. Let's get that car. And I was like, cool. You know, my dad's gonna have the car. He's gonna lend it to me. And I, you know, I can get into the energy of the car, uh, which is really cool. And then when we signed, when, when he purchased the car and stuff, he's like, Trina, actually, you know what? This car is for you. And I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, I was thinking about it. Cause he, he travels back and forth from the city, like from where he works, his, his office is like an hour away. He's like, I was thinking about it, this new car to drive back and forth, the mud, this, it wouldn't make sense. Let me take your car. Cause I had a car that he had actually already bought me two years earlier than this. Um, he's like, let me take that car, which already has two years. You know, it's, it's more used. It makes more sense not to get in, and you take the new car. And I was like, what, are you serious? He's like, yeah, yeah, I, I didn't think of it, but you know, it makes more sense and um, you're working, you know, you're, you're going to the city and, and you know, it just makes more sense. And I was like, wow, I literally, and I had put the intention, I love my car, I, I had two years, it was gorgeous. Um, and I really put an intention, like, I, I don't know if I did, but 
I guess I did, right? Manifested. But my brother had gotten a car and I was really excited about him, like full love, intention. He got his dream car and my and I was just in pure love. And I think that being so happy for him, I manifested this car. And then my friends came back from this beach trip. Almost all of them had fallen sick because they had eaten something that was not good or whatever, and all of them fell sick. And like literally the next day in my in the office, because many of the friends were in the office, they were telling me how like, they didn't come to work, they got delayed, like all these things happened, and I was like, wow. It's crazy, it's crazy. So following my gut, I got a new car and I, you know, was healthy and not feeling sick. So this is the power, guys, of following your butterflies. I talk a lot about this and you guys see my whole, my whole business is based on this. Because when you do this, I have seen the miracles happen. I have so many stories to share with you how these miracles have manifested in my life, my clients, like it's crazy, these stories. But it happens, you know, when you set the intention, you go for it. And, and I mentor actually in one of his audios, he shares the story of how this guy wanted a house and he was putting the intention, I want a house, I want a house, I want a house. His, 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 literally his apartment got burnt and he's like, I'm manifesting a house, what do you mean my apartment got burnt? How am I going to get the house? But the universe was like, I need to burn this house so you can get the new house. And then the insurance company people and stuff were like, look, the house got burned, not your fault, la 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 la, here's the money, go buy a new house. And the guy was like, I manifested my new house. So like, this is a story that my mentor shared in one of his training audios and it's like, Sometimes this happens, you know, and for those of you who are wanting to manifest money, clients, don't be surprised if people don't show up, some contracts get canceled or whatever happens, these crazy things, they happen. Especially when you up level, um, I see this a lot when you're up leveling, it happens a lot. So it's normal, like don't freak out, how are you feeling, you're not feeling good, why are you not feeling good, clear that, you're feeling good, go with it, be in gratitude, be in the momentum, stay with it. You know, when I came back from my trip, uh, I was in a yoga retreat, and when I came back, I had a lot of sales calls and, and application calls scheduled for that week. And I don't know why, for some reason, like many of the calls got canceled and no shows, and I was like, wow, this is weird. Like, and not only these sales calls, but like I had a call with a mentor, I had a call with my trainer, I had a call with the mastermind. All these calls, like it was like eight calls that we got canceled, postponed, no show. It was crazy, and I was like, okay, this is weird, but I'm feeling good. And, and then I, in retrospect, I'm glad that space opened up because in that space opening up, I was able to do other stuff that had that I wasn't, I were, I weren't, I wasn't gonna do if I had these calls and um, that what I did like, has helped so much, uh, helped me and other stuff and it's the power of this. So I think the key here that I've really gotten from my mentor, my friend, and my own life experience is about feeling good. And when you do that, the money flows, the business flows, all of it comes in that energy because so many times we are sabotaging our energy, sabotaging the clients, we're repelling the clients. Sometimes the best thing to do instead of going and promoting sometimes is to take a break, doing some tapping, getting your energy right, doing some gratitude, listening to the scope maybe, and then, and then go promote it because when you take action, when you're feeling good and you're in alignment, that action is so much better and powerful than taking action that is out when you're out of in a, out of alignment. I see this all the time when I am, and I've done this, guys. I've done webinars, and you guys know this. Like many of you who follow me for a while, I do a lot of webinars. I love doing webinars, and the webinars are like super inspired. And I'm excited. Like I'll take two days to promote it, and that's it, and I'll fill the webinar up like two, three hundred people. The webinars, I'm like pushing it. You gotta promote it. You gotta. And, the energy, like I'm not in alignment. And, I, and it's always important to take that time to put yourself in that space. So I guess that's the message today. Don't sabotage yourself. Um, and tell me guys, what are you taking away? Share with me, what are you taking from this scope? What are you learning from this scope? What are you, what are you gonna apply in your life? And share with me in, in the scope. Let's see who's here, Nakia, Carla. Okay, and again, it's all about feeling good. And to summarize, if you're sabotaging yourself, take responsibility, start taking action, and put yourself in a space where people support you to move forward and get out of that sabotage momentum and space. That's the game changer, guys, okay? So it's been a pleasure, as always, being here with you guys today. Make sure you go to my Facebook group and check out the awesome things there that I have for you. It's live your passions and follow your butterflies. And I will be scoping again soon. Bye.